This video is going to look at the homework associated with section 2.2, which is titled Solving Linear Equations. Number one says, solve the equation negative 2q plus 9 equals 7. I'm going to rewrite my equation, negative 2q plus 9 equals 7. First thing I need to do is get rid of that plus 9. So I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides first. That goes away. I am left with negative 2q equals 7 minus 9 is negative 2. So now I have negative 2q, and I'm going to scoot the q over just a little bit so I can emphasize that that's really negative 2 times q. So to get that negative 2 in front of the q away, I need to divide both sides by negative 2. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. So I have q equals negative 2 over negative 2 is 1. The solution set is q equals 1. Number 2, solve negative 2p minus 4 equals negative 6. To get the p by itself on the left, first thing we need to do is add 4 to both sides. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So negative 2p equals negative 6 plus 4, which is negative 2. I have negative 2 times p equals negative 2. Dividing both sides by negative 2, and why do I want to do that? Because negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. 1 times p is just p. And then on the right-hand side, negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. The solution set is p equals 1. Number 3, solve 2x minus 1 half equals 6. To get the x by itself on the left, first thing I need to do is add 1 half to both sides. Don't get scared just because it's a fraction. Negative 1 half plus 1 half is 0. So on the left, I have 2x equals, your calculator loves fractions. I'm going to type 6 plus 1 half. 6 plus 1 half is 13 halves. See how quick and easy your calculator can do fractions? Okay, if I have 2x equals 13 halves, that's really 2 times x. So I need to divide both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times x is x. And on the right-hand side, 13 halves divided by 2 so I have 13 halves in the numerator divided by 2 I get 13 fourths so the solution set is x equals 13 fourths number 4 0 0.2 y plus 3.4 equals negative 5. To solve that equation for y, first thing I need to do is get the 3.4 away. So I'm going to subtract 3.4 from both sides. 3.4 minus 3.4 is 0. So 0 plus 0.2y is just 0.2y. 
on my calculator, negative 5 minus 3.4. is negative 8.4. So I have negative, sorry, I have 0 0.2 times y. So to get y by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.2. 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.2 is 1. 1 times y is y. And the right hand side of the equal sign, negative 8.4 divided by 0 0.2 is negative 42. The solution set is y equals negative 42. For number five, do not panic just because you see fractions. Your calculator handles fractions beautifully. One sixth equals one third minus one half x. To isolate x on the right hand side, first thing you have to do is subtract one third from both sides. One third from both sides. One third minus one third is zero. Zero minus one half x is just negative one half x. Okay, what does that equal? One sixth minus one third. So I'm going to do one sixth minus one third. And I get negative one sixth. Okay, I now have negative one sixth equals negative one half times x. To get the x by itself, I need to divide both sides by negative one half. Negative one half divided by negative one half is one. One times x is just x. On my calculator, I need to do negative one sixth divided by negative one half. So I have negative one sixth divided by negative one half. Negative one six divided by negative one half is one third. So my solution set is x equals one third. All right, these equations are going to get a little bit more complicated. We're going to have to, it looks like we're going to have to collect some like terms first. So here we go. Number six, three y minus 2y plus 6 equals 18 minus 6. On the left-hand side, I see 3y minus 2y. Because they both have a y, those are considered like terms. 3y minus 2y leaves you with 1y plus 6 equals, okay, what is 18 minus 6? Those are like terms as well. 18 minus 6 is 12. Okay, I now have 1y plus 6 equals 12. Do I really need to put the 1 in front? And the answer is no, because 1y is the same as one times y, which is the same as just y. All right, I have y plus six equals 12. How do I get y by itself? I need to subtract six from both sides. Six minus six is zero. On the left, I have y. On the right, 
I have 12 minus 6, which is 6. The solution set is y equals 6. Number 7, 4y minus 1 minus 6y equals negative 23. Do I have any like terms that I can combine on either side? Yes, I have 4y minus 6y. So 4 minus 6 gives me negative 2y. Negative 2y minus 1, that guy's still there, equals negative 23. I need to get the negative 1 to the other side. Instead of subtracting 1, I'm going to add 1 to both sides. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Negative 2y equals negative 23 plus 1, which is negative 22. Now I have negative 2y equals negative 22. I'm going to scoot that y over just a little bit so I can emphasize negative 2 times y. To get the y by itself, I need to divide both sides by negative 2. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. 1 times y is y. So y equals negative 22 divided by negative 2, which is 11. y equals 11. just wanted to acknowledge the fact that I know there are a lot of problems on these homework sets. Um, it's hopefully going to help you. The more practice you get, the better you will get at doing these problems. Um, it does take a lot of practice to uh, see the pattern on what you need to do. So let's keep moving forward. Number eight, 6y plus 9 equals 5y minus 13. There are no like terms on either side that I can combine. So the trick now is to get the y's all on one side and the constants on the other side. So I am going to pick to move the 5y back to the left hand side. So I'm going to subtract 5y from both sides. 5y minus 5y is 0. So on the left, Sorry, on the right, I have just negative 13. On the left, 6y minus 5y is 1y, but do we need to write the 1? No, that's understood. 1y, bring down the plus 9, equals negative 13. To get the plus 9 to the other side, I want to subtract 9 from both sides. 9 minus 9 is 0, so I am left with y equals negative 13 minus 9. I hope that you have seen by now that I encourage you to keep your calculator beside you when you're doing problems. You don't have to do the arithmetic. I know um, I have two daughters. One is very mathematically minded. The other one is a fine arts kid who hates arithmetic and so she is just very calculator dependent and I have learned that that is okay. So we're going to go do negative 13 minus 9 which is negative 22. Since you are allowed to have the technology in your hands I'm going to tell you to use it. Don't try to don't waste time trying to figure out negative 13 minus 9 in your head. Yes, there are some of us who can do that very quickly, but if that is not you, it is okay. Use a calculator. All right, number 9, it's the exact same as number 8. We just have fractions, but that's okay. We're going to write 4 ninths x minus 1 fourth equals negative 5 ninths x 
minus 5 fourths. First thing to do, get this to the left. So instead of subtracting 5 ninths x, I'm going to add 5 ninths x to both sides. 5 ninths x minus 5 ninths x is gone. It's zero. So on the right, I'm left with negative 5 fourths. On the left, I need to go add 4 ninths plus 5 ninths. Here we go. 4 ninths plus 5 ninths, which is 1. So I get 1x minus 1 fourth equal to negative 5 fourths. Do I need to write the 1x? Nope, that's the same as just writing x. Okay, to get the x by itself, I need to move minus 1 fourth to the right hand side. So instead of saying x minus 1 fourth, I need to add 1 fourth to both sides. Negative 1 fourth plus 1 fourth is 0. x plus 0 is just x. So x will equal, here we go, negative 5 fourths plus 1 fourth. Negative 5 fourths plus 1 fourth is negative 1. Your solution set is x equals negative 1. Number 10 says 2 plus 10x equals negative 8x plus 2. In the last few problems, I've moved all the x's to the left-hand side. It really does not matter. It's whatever you want to do. But just to keep in the same um, process, I'm going to add 8x to both sides. Negative 8x plus 8x is gone. It's 0. So 0 plus 2 is just 2. Now on the left hand side, 10x plus 8x. Ten plus 8 is 18. So I have 18x and then I have plus 2 equals 2. Now I need to subtract this 2 from both sides. 2 minus 2 is 0. So I have 18x equals 2 minus 2, which is 0. Okay, let me emphasize 18 times x equals 0. So I'm going to divide both sides by 18. And when I do, 18 over 18 is 1. 1 times x is x. 0 divided by 18 is 0. So the solution set is x equals 0. Number 11, 5p plus 27 equals negative 13. To get the p by itself, the first thing I need to do is subtract 27 from both sides. 27 minus 27 is 0. 0 plus 5p is just 5p. Negative 13 minus 27 is negative 40. So I have 5 times p is equal to negative 40. Dividing both sides by 5, 5 divided by 5 is 1, 1 times p is p, negative 40 divided by 5, oh, sorry, negative 40 divided by 5 is negative 8. 
So the solution set is P equals negative 8. Number 12, negative 11 equals 5x minus 1. First thing I need to do is add 1 to both sides. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. 5x plus 0 is just 5x. Negative 11 plus 1 is negative 10. So I have negative 10 equals 5 times x. Dividing both sides by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times x is just x. Negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2. So the solution set is x equals negative 2. Number 13, we get to use the distributive property. Negative 4, parentheses 2x plus 5 is equal to 60. All right, I'm going to distribute that negative 4 that's out front. Negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x. Negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. So I get negative 8x minus 20 equals 60. I need to add 20 to both sides. Negative 20 plus 20 is 0. Negative 8x plus 0 is negative 8x equals 60 plus 20, which is 80. Negative 8 times x equals 80. Dividing both sides by negative 8. Negative 8 divided by negative 8 is 1. 1 times x is just x. 80 divided by negative 8 is negative 10. The solution set is x equals negative 10.